All right, in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple workflow. This is literally just an automation, an AI prompt that you can use in Clay to find a company's website given the company name. And also potentially if you have, for example, the LinkedIn company page URL, that's going to be useful as well, right? But you literally just need a company name. So I'm going to show you how to do that because this is a very simple automation, very simple AI prompt that I get asked a lot. People just come to me and say, hey, I have a list of companies, uh, company names. I have the company names only, but I can't find a website. I, I, I just need to find the websites so that I can enrich those websites and those companies with actual contacts, right? So I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's literally just a simple AI prompt that you can use in Clay. So um, what you want to do is just have a table inside of Clay and you literally just need company name and then if you have any other data about a company for example linkedin company page if it's a local business uh you you know it would be useful to have the uh, address of business so if you have any other data about a company uh you can use that as well and you can give it an input to the ai prompt right but typically you just need a company name so uh and then what you what you have to do is just um add a new column here and then go to use ai so we're going to use an ai prompt which is essentially clayagent right clayagent is an ai agent that can visit websites it can visit publicly available pages so what we're going to do is as i just said or I just, as I just did here, uh, we're going to select model GPT-40 Mini, which is, and I typically recommend you to connect your OpenAI API key to Clay so that you just spend Clay credits. You don't spend Clay credits, but you spend um, OpenAI API credits or however, however you want to call that. But essentially you don't spend the click rights with this, right? So connect your OpenAI API key and then select GPT-40 Mini, which is the cheapest option uh, GPT and is more than enough to uh, do the simple task. So in the prompt, what you want to say is, that's what we want to say in the prompt, right? Browse the internet and, and then find the website of this company, give it the following details, and then we give it company name. To uh, essentially add these custom fields, you just want to type slash and then you can uh, select custom field. So company name and then company LinkedIn page right here. You want to keep both of these uh, required to run turned on um, because, uh, you know, then we, it will need both of these to be uh, filled, both of these cells to be filled to, for the column to run in the first place, right? Otherwise, it won't run. And then output the website, nothing else, because otherwise, if you don't say this, it will output a bunch of random stuff like, you know, hey, the, the website of this company is X, Y, and Z. And then, so you just want the, the website URL, right? Otherwise, that data is essentially impossible to use in any way. And then also, you want to say this. If you're not 95% sure of your output, output not found, right? This is important because for some of these companies, it might be kind of hard to find a website. Like, for example, if the company is just... Uh, you know, it has just one word, like the company is just one word, the company name, and then you don't also give it, for example, the LinkedIn company page, it might be very hard for the AI prompt to find that company website or to find an accurate website for that company. So what you want to do in that case is instead of just having an output a random company URL of a website that's not clearly not the company's website, uh, you just want to have not found in the output just because then you, you know, if you have, wrong websites you're going to reach out to the wrong contacts and then you can mark the spam and so it is just a bad thing so you want to say uh if you're not 95 percent sure you can even say 99 percent sure uh, of your output just output not found also very important here in response you want to keep it text because if you if you keep uh, or if you select url it not output not found right so you want to keep it text we already said that the output should be the website nothing else so you do not need to select url in here otherwise as i said if it doesn't find the website with 95 percent accuracy uh, it will not be able to, to output not found so you want to keep this text this is essentially the output format of uh well the format of the output right so in this case the you know you can select even true or false number url or email or, or even you know text right so we want to keep it as text and then auto update you want to keep this uh turned on and then um that's pretty much all you need right so now I'm just going to run the first 10 rows and I'm going to show you what this looks like. Cool. So now it's run for the first 10 rows. So once you have uh, this, this column right here, to get the actual response, to get the actual website, you want to click on this, on any of these, and then um, click on response, add as column, and then we're, we're going to call it website. And then you have your website column over here. Awesome. Now, um, this is... This is the, the automation. This is literally just a prompt. If you wanted to make this more accurate, as I said, the more data that you 
give it to, to the AI prompt, uh, the more data about the company you give it, the better it's going to run and the, the more accurate it is going to be uh, the output, right? So say you, you want to find a website of a local business, um, the raw address of the local business will be useful for the AI prompt to find the correct website. Once you have the website of um, each of these companies, what you can do is you can just download the list uh, by going here, export and then download as CSV. Or you can even find contacts directly within Clay with a find contacts um, find contacts a company function right here, right? Now you want to save this in a new table because if you were to run this on a recurring basis, you want you, you want to do save your results in this table. But in this case, you know, let's just say you have a list of companies you want to find their websites, and then you want to find the company serve contacts at those websites at those companies. You want to save just in a new table because if you do save results in this table, it will spend click credits. If you do save results in new table, I've seen it doesn't spend any click click credits because it's not a recurring uh, enrichment, right? So, um, but for the sake of this example, I'm just going to say, you know, save results in this table just to show you what this looks like, right? So company identifier. Now with this point, realistically to find contacts at a company, uh, if you were to use this, this column inside of clay, you can do the same with, you know, giving an input of for the company, either the LinkedIn company page or the website. Um, they both work, right? Company entire, no, that's fine. Um, they, they both work, right? So for the sake of this example, I'm just going to see the website. And then essentially here, it's just a normal search of contacts. You can give it, you know, job title keywords. You can find certain, certain titles and then job functions, locations, um, employee company size, right? So employee account, uh, and so on and so forth, right? So that's pretty much it. That's it for this video. If you have any questions on this, just feel free to let me know. If you found this useful, let me know as well. If you need any help with album prospecting, we build tailored album workflows using AI and Clay to essentially send personalized, hyper-personalized cold outreach at scale. So if you're interested in any of that, feel free to book a call with the first link in the description below, and I'll see you there.